Let's try to solve this problem here. An aluminium rod of length 199.92 mm and a steel rod of length 200.05 mm are heated from 30 degrees Celsius to a certain temperature X. Okay, so let's try to sketch out the situation over here. So basically, you have an aluminium rod. Let's label it as AL. This aluminium rod right now has a length of 199.92 mm. So let's label this. Okay, if you convert it into meter, then it will be 0 0.19992 meter. Okay, this is the original length of the aluminium rod. Then for steel rod, let's label it as S. For steel rod, the initial length when the temperature is uh, 30 degrees Celsius, it's 200.05 millimeter. So convert it to meter, that will be equivalent to 0 0.20005 meter. Okay, so this is the length of aluminium rod and the length of steel rod when it was at 30 degrees Celsius. Okay, the initial situation. Then you heated it up from 30 degrees Celsius to a certain temperature. Then the temperature is called X. Okay, so let's see. After you heat up to a temperature of X. Okay, what happened? Uh, they say the coefficient of linear expansion of uh, aluminium and steel are 2.3 times 10 to the power negative 5 per Kelvin and 1.1 times 10 to the power negative 5 per Kelvin. Okay, so let's shut that down. So for aluminium, its coefficient of linear expansion, which is alpha, alpha for aluminium is equals to 2.3 times 10 to the power negative 5 per Kelvin or per degree Celsius. It's the same thing. Whereas the, uh, the coefficient of linear expansion <coughs> for steel is 1.1 times 10 to the power negative 5 per Kelvin. <coughs> Okay, then you heat it up to temperature of X. Then they say if both rods have the same length at temperature X, determine X. So you know that uh, when uh, the aluminium rod is being heated up, it will expand to a new length, which we are unsure of. The steel after being heated up will also be expanded to a new length as well. So now they say that at temperature X, the length of aluminium rod and the length of steel rod, the new length will be the same. Okay, so let's sketch out the situation. So you can think of aluminium. Oops, it's supposed to be in green. The aluminium rod will have a new length, which is longer than its original length because it's being heated up. So we call this as the new length of AL. So the length of AL. Then for steel, Steel also will ex uh, experience expansion because it's being heated up and the expansion causes it to reach a new length which is length of S and we notice that length of S is the same as the length of aluminium rod. Length of steel rod is the same as length of aluminium rod. Okay, so now they want you to determine the temperature of X. You know that these two are supposed to be the same. So maybe we can start by saying that the length of aluminium rod, the new length of aluminium rod is the same as the new length of the steel rod. So if we are aware that the length of the aluminium rod is equal to the length of the steel rod, we can equate the equation for the new length of aluminium and steel rod. We know that the new length of aluminium rod can be obtained by taking the original length of the aluminium rod multiply by 1 plus alpha and the change of temperature okay but all this should be for specific for aluminium so aluminium uh, the coefficient of linear expansion for aluminium and the change in temperature experienced by the aluminium okay on the right hand side here you have steel so steel its new length is the original length of steel multiplied by 1 plus alpha and the change of temperature but for this change of temperature, it's supposed to be for steel and the coefficient of linear expansion is for steel as well. So label subscript of S. Okay, so now once you're done with it, what you can do, you can perform your substitution. The original length of aluminium, the original length of aluminium is 199.92 converted to meter 0 0.19992. Okay, so 0 0.19992 1 plus alpha is 2.3 times 10 to the power negative 5 
and the change of temperature maybe i need to remove the equal sign first a change in temperature it's always final minus initial for expansion final temperature is x initial temperature is 30 you don't need to convert it to kelvin you can either stick consistent to degree celsius or keep consistent to kelvin in this case you keep it consistent to degree celsius so this will be final which is x minus initial which is 30 degrees celsius so this is the left hand side for the right hand side you have 0 0.20005 1 plus alpha for the steel rod it's 1.1 times 10 upon negative 5 then the change in temperature experienced by the steel is the same x minus 30 okay so now if you look at this equation carefully you can see that there's only one unknown left which is x so actually this equation is solvable using our calculator you can use a function to solve for x and from there you can get the new temperature and not new temperature the final temperature the final temperature that the steel rod and aluminium rod are being heated up to it's uh, 84.22 degrees celsius 84.22 degrees celsius please make sure you check your temperature the unit of a temperature if inside this bracket your change of temperature it's measured it's done in degrees celsius then of course your answer here should be in degrees celsius if the change in temperature is done in kelvin then your answer here should be kelvin you have to keep the unit of temperature consistent okay so this is how you can apply the thermal expansion equation for linear expansion